gonna be happening a lot. Try to make a video! You know, a little bit about the Gas Monkey style is I like to use raw things that have been out there. You know, we, we buy and sell and, and fix up old used cars and make them new and make them better and, and repurpose them. And that's kind of what I'm doing with the bar. That's kind of our style. I brought in uh, two full truckloads of uh, really rustic tin like this to dress these old buildings and a little bit on the inside. And the reason is this, this stuff came off the Hacienda in South Texas that had been on the roof since 1937. Then this bar was inside. Pull it out here, repurpose it. We're gonna put a different top on it and whammo jammo, we'll be good to go for another bar out here. I don't like throwing things away or seeing them go to the junkyard uh, if it's able to be recycled or repurposed or reused. And uh, that's kind of a little bit about our style, but we don't put out junk, we make it better. glasses inside I can't see we're doing something that me and Steve uh, at Rusty Buffalo cooked up I don't know how well it's gonna work but we'll find out <laughs> We need some ladders because we need to see how far out the chains go and where they end up at. That's perfect. <laughs> That's fucking tits. So good job. It's uh, I think we're two, three percent off, and we're gonna hang lights on it. So that's gonna take care of it. Let's uh, pull this big old man, well boy, uh, lift out of here. I'm a man. <laughs> Not with that voice. <laughs> All right, so uh, on my scavenger hunt of finding cool stuff for uh, the uh, Gas Smoky Sturgis, I ran across something pretty freaking interesting, uh, just that it was available. And then I had to ask the guy about the story. And when he told me the story about what it is and how he got it and where it came from, it fits it perfect. What's up, man? Who's it? Marshall Richard Rose. Nice you. You're only in my sign is uh, Harley sign Sturgis. Is you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. So uh, cool, show me this Who's thing. This? Yeah. Josh. Josh, nice to meet you, Josh. There it is, right there. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Like I said, that's in great shape. Hey there, how are you? Cracks, no nothing. Um, well, if you just had knee surgery, you're moving around good. Yeah, well, gotta get, got, got shit to do, man. I, I just did the same thing. I broke my leg. You know, and they had, had a major heart attack that? and was ready for, I, I or ready for work I, two days later. I curb checked myself. No shit. I just, I, the funny thing is, I don't know how I did it. I remember sort of falling off a curb or something, and I woke up the next morning and my foot was like this big, and I was out of town, and I had SEMA. So there's probably a lot of people out there that thought I was an asshole at SEMA for the first time, uh, because I mean, I was in pain, but I had like 10, 20 different appearances I had to do. So I walked it the whole time with a bucket. No with shit. A, that's really that. cool. Oh yeah, and like I said, it's in great shape, man. I mean, there's no, the, the acrylic isn't cracked or busted up. So. That is freaking killer. So uh, tell me again the story as you know it. So I, I seen it in a guy's garage out in 
Rapidales and uh, I stopped over and knocked on his door like a day later or whatever and he answered the door and he's like, uh, I'm like, hey, what's the deal with that Harley sign, you know? And he's like, uh, how do you know I got a Harley sign? I'm like, I've seen it, your garage was open, you know? So I uh, made a deal, I bought it from him and uh, I had a feeling things might be a little weird with it because he seemed like he wasn't the most honest guy in the world, but I really wanted it. And, and this I was, was like, how long ago? Shit, man, like seven years ago. Okay. Long ass time ago, man. So then, I don't know, then Harley Davidson got a hold of me and they're like, that sign's stolen, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, I, you know, I paid this much for it, man. You guys give me my money back. I'll give it back to you, man. Like, you know, I didn't know it was stolen. I didn't steal it from you, you know? And they're like, no, we believe that. We talked to this guy, Wild Bill, was good friends with the manager there. He's like, yeah, I know Marshall. Marshall didn't steal shit, man. But anyway, so they wanted it back. Anyway, it got in a big old mess. And then the judge basically told, basically said, you guys got paid $18,000 in insurance money for a new sign. As far as I'm concerned, the insurance company owns the sign. If the insurance company wants to come after Marshall for it, they're more, they're more, they legally can, which they never have. Yeah. And yeah, even, even when I put it up for sale, Harley got a hold of me and they're like, that's our old sign. You know, I'm like, dude, I already been through all this bullshit, like fucking a decade ago. <laughs> call them up. They never did call me back. They're like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. So that's cool. Cause it still says, uh, Sturgis. Yep. Third and LaSalle. Yep. Oh, wait. That is freaking rad. Cause that's the first thing I told you when I called. I said, I like old signs and stuff, but I like them better if you have a story. He goes, oh, I got a story for you. <laughs> I was like, all right. I got a story. So for those of you watching, this is sign was the one that was installed across there, going to be installed across the street from uh, Gas Monkey Sturgis. And uh, it alleviated itself from that duty. And uh, now we're going to be on the other side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> super cool. Well, how heavy is it? It's not super heavy. I mean, I, I can't do nothing. No, right you don't do anything. Hand. But it's Josh. You gonna do it? It's actually works pretty good. You get, old, you get grandpa. Yeah, let me hop in. <laughs> I, got it. I mean, I got it. I just I might trip over a shoelace and break it. Let me have a knee. I'll get the book. It's cool. All right. Pick it up, All right. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's close. <laughs> Perfect. Shit. Yeah, that's close. Oh, man. Like it was made for it. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys were loading the sign, and uh, Marshall uh, says, "Hey, I do what you do," and I'm like, "Well, you know, on a smaller scale." <laughs> I like his policy and stuff, so he's going to show us what he's got back here. Hmm. I thought he did windows, but he says painting. <laughs> but a car painting. Right? Look at the shop he's hiding back. What? In. He's hiding it, man. This car here. Go sixty-four. Yeah. Yeah. Super sport. Yeah. Oh, get out of here. It's not a rat top. Too the hard top. Mm. <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> I love it. How long you had this car? Uh, about five years, six years maybe. I tried to buy this car when I was 14 years old and the guy had never sell it to me. I was, I, my dad was working on his house and I went over there to get some money for my dad or something. I was like 14 or 15. I seen it in the garage and that guy's like, nope, I bought that car brand spanking new and they shipped me out here in the Air Force and you'll never get that car. Well, he died and his daughter didn't want it, so I got it. <laughs> no way. Well, I don't yeah. want people to die, but I don't mind getting the spoils. Yeah. Wow. And I, of course, it wasn't as nice as it is now. I, I did a lot of, it was a nice runner driver car when I bought it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, very, very restorable, like no rust. It was a very, but I, I, you know, I put a lot of money into it too. I, you know, it wasn't as nice as it is now. Yeah, I, I bought a, the last 50, nice 59 I had, I found just down the street from my shop, you know, maybe 20 miles away and it was in a garage and it was a vert, it was a 59 convertible, 348 tri-power, oh, AC, you know, just every bell and whistle. everything, yeah. That's and, I mean. uh, I thought that I just killed it when I paid 38 grand for it and sold it for 45, oh. I think. Oh, man. <laughs> I sure should have kept that car. That's a $200,000 car now. All day long. All it's day. It's insane what they're getting for these 59 and I, I can't believe I've been offered stupid money for this, but it's like one of those cars where it's like, I, I know if I sell it, I'll regret it. 20 years from now, I'll be like, man, now I can't even afford a hard top. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I should have never sold it. I had it. It was paid for. It was mine. It was nice. And I sold it. 
being stupid and now I'll never get another one. <laughs> I, I have a few cars like that. <laughs> like me and Dennis did a Lamborghini Mira uh, and we bought that car and sold it and made like 50 grand on it. Now that car's worth like $3 million. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's, that's a big money car. Yeah. Though, too, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't will and deal in car money cars like that. I wish I could. But. What's up with the van? I picked it up off this guy in the valley, man. He was sitting behind his house and uh, it runs and drives. I love these old days. Yeah, I, I think that van is awesome. Is it a V8 or a 6? It's, it's, it's a 6. It's a six. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a on the tree. It's boring, but you know what? It's solid. It's straight. And it and the guy the guy wanted 200 bucks for it. Why wouldn't I buy it? Well, I'll give you 400. <laughs> <laughs> Double your money right now. Right? I had one that I should have never got rid of. It had the 302 and automatic and AC. Oh and man, the yeah. short box like this. Yeah, I should have never sold it. No, I got I got some old stuff out here too. I got a 68 convertible. Whoa! I have been looking for a 68. So this is a 1968 Impala. Me and Dennis had one way before television, and we would literally buy it and sell it to each other every time somebody brought it over. <laughs> It, one of them would drive to the other's house and be like, nope, I'll give you a thousand more than you paid. And we did like seven times. Oh, this one's got a little cancer. It, it's got really rusty quarters, but I shit you not. You get this, I, it's, a, it's weird how this car rusted out. You get it up on my lift, the, the floors in this thing, the trunk, it needs quarters. I mean, other than that, this car, and this car runs like a top. It's 327, it runs, I hop in it right now, fire it up and go cruise up Sturgis. I've had some cars that are that are like that. They get the salt up in here. It's weird. I, I've never had one with But it quarters. wouldn't need trunks or floors. No, the floors and the trunk are good. I mean, if you, if you have time, you want to come back and take a really good look at it. We'll get it on the lift. I can drive it right in. How much is it? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't even remember what I paid. How much is this $4,500 car? $4, I bought it at a bar from a guy at Kelly Sports Lounge. It was sitting in the parking lot and I asked, who owns that 68 Chevy out there? And this guy's sitting in there and he said, oh, you want to buy it? And I said, sure. And I bought it. Then. And then I had to give him a ride home. I've done that a bunch. <laughs> sure, I'll take you home. Get in your car. But what would you want for it? Ninety-five hundred, probably. A little bit of the same problem here, just not as bad. Body lines. Body lines are pretty. 68s are better than the 59. No, yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I haven't heard. 68s are better than the Should have looked up. No, they're not. Usually I know where the mirrors are. <laughs> yeah, but when's the last time you looked at a Winnebago? I mean, come yeah, on. Many the, the little ones like this trick my triggers. I bought this at a bar one time too. I I, I wanted like your style. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to bag this and put like Alcoas on it, just oh, yeah. slam it, and leave it all ratty looking. But the inside was like super nice. Right. I, it's, yeah. As a dream, I probably never happened. But and I mean, like I said, was though, twelve Richard, take both the Impalas. Twelve for the two, the pair. Yeah. Give me a minute to think about that. All right, so I came up here to pick up the sign and it didn't really matter what Marshall did. I didn't even think to ask and uh, he sells me a sign. There's a bunch of windows and things around. It looks like he maybe does windows or siding. And he goes, no, I kind of do what you do on a smaller scale. I'm like, oh, really? Are you freaking kidding me? He's got a 59 Impala in there that is spotless, super rad. And he's like, I got a few more things laying around. And uh, he happens to have uh, two 68s. And I love 68 Impalas and one of them's a rag top and it's got some rust, but he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. And if it's not rusty underneath, we can fix everything else. And it's a really straight car. It looks like it's never been wrecked and uh, original paint. And me and Dennis had one a long time ago uh, that's super, super cool. As a matter of fact, on the back where you'd normally see the dealer sticker, we clear coated a $100 bill into the paint. Uh, and. Uh, we actually caught people trying to chip it off. But uh, anyways, I offered him 12 grand for the two cars. We'll see what happens, because uh, there's a second one right here, hard top. I'm at 14 for the pair. I think you could probably sell, honestly, I think you could sell that, that hard top in Texas, you know, California. I think you could probably get, I, honestly, I think you get like 6,500 bucks out of that car and you pretty much got the rag for free. It's not a bad deal, think about it. I don't understand that math. 14,000 minus 6,500. <laughs> I'm, I'm still 85-ish in the hole. <laughs> I've done met the South Dakota gas monkey. <laughs>
Who do you think you are, Richard? I'll probably end up doing this deal, but just let me talk to my buddy and see if he wants uh, to go in with me and build another one like we used to have. All right, and, that's, uh, that works cool. for me, man. Marshall, just let thanks, me know. You got my number. So you might remember that I bought a 47 Indian Chief that has been in a barn up here in the Black Hills since the 80s and is just literally perfect. And I was thinking, you know what? This needs to be the centerpiece to my bar. Call this blue, because it, it, it doesn't really make any sense. We could leave the top. I honestly like it. Yeah. I think the blue looks cool. All right, let's go all the way up. We're gonna pivot this front tire up here, so help him balance that, okay? Three, two, one. Stop for a second. Get your rest. Okay. Come on. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's about where we're gonna be. All right. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. Get the muscle. All right. Uh, just lean it on the wall for a second. Okay. Take a break, guys. Fucking good moves. Money. Good job. Yeah. Tit. A lot easier. We didn't mess up the bar top. about right after this speaker, the ass in. Now, I think if you go at an angle like that, and then you light up this hallway, and they can see it from all the way over there. I like it. It'd be very cool. That, once we pull it backwards, is almost perfect. Rick, if you, or Steve, uh, uh, Mabry, if you're about six inches off the wall, if you aim for that, and then once we pull it back, that should be right, but you also can drop, uh, probably, yeah, drop like that. There you go. Uh, Steve, you're now uh, still too close to the wall, and you're now too close to the wall. Uh, there you go. Actually, no, bring it back. Yeah, you get there, and you get, yeah, whatever your touching part is, which is your top. If you're four inches off the wall in each other's respective spot right now, you're pretty fucking, you're pretty fucking golden. Rawlings. Sir, lower or this height? Uh, I think that's about right, but uh, it could go slightly lower. Hold on. Where? Go lower and see. No, we're holding. That's more natural. No, it's still going to come away from the wall some, right? Uh, yeah. It's yeah, be yeah it'll, it'll come right to there. Okay. Right there's good. Let's let her drop. I get down. it. I think we're there. Now we just got to pull it back. No, you're fucking with me. The bottom side down. <laughs> now it's getting pulled up and back. Isn't that what you wanted? I want what you want. You own the place. I know, but you wanted restrooms painted yeah. on the front of the arrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's going to go up and back towards Levi. Just a little bit more. There you go. That's the suspension we want. Okay. That is exactly it. Mark it, do whatever, take the thing. There we go. All right, be careful. Don't drag the wires down. Let's take a look. High five. That was like a one and a half. We have accomplished much. This is a day on building Richard's Museum. This is starting to look kick ass. This is the part of the, the project that I enjoy the most, throwing the gas monkey spin on it, making it, you know, kind of my own and, and what have you. Uh, you know, believe it or not, um, you can buy some stuff and throw some tin signs up that you get from the distributors and 
do whatever and open a bar. But it's really hard to collect all the, the special items that we have that we're putting in here. I mean, we've got a 47 Indian chief up on top of the bar over here. Uh, we've got some really special lights. We've got a 750 uh, CB chopper up there. Oh, we've got some wicked, wicked stuff. And this is not even half of it. So get ready for some action. Look right. at this dude, just on a chopper chop. Yeah! <laughs> he's got a whole six pack. <laughs> he's true to the brand, man. Look, he's wearing the shirt. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you doing? I'm freaking what? rad. It's that's a pleasure to meet you. That's that the coolest awesome. thing I've seen today. Riding around, got the, got the six pack for going home. Well, this is definitely the coolest thing I've had happen to me today. <laughs> Kick ass. <laughs> you live local? Yeah. I live uh, halfway between here and Deadwood right now. Oh, okay. I'm okay. living out uh, in my toy hauler, right on a trail, and working in town. I haven't found a place to buy yet, but I'm hoping to buy a place soon. Dude, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But, Trust me. I, the more I stay up here, the more I'm like, I can get used to this. And I'm, well, a, I'm a city boy my whole life. This, <laughs> this is awesome, bro. I mean, it is pretty out here, man. It's just beautiful. Dude, I gotta, I gotta check out your bike because uh, uh, I think I might have the twin brother to that in, in the in the shop there. <laughs> pretty but, close. Uh, we're not quite open yet. We're gonna pour some concrete tonight and what okay. have you. But this is gonna be a rad place. I'm gonna be open year round too. Okay. I'm not some rich asshole coming in here trying to make rally money. I, I want to have some fun. I'm making a, a 10, 15 year investment in this in this town. Okay. And uh, we're gonna be at full bar too. That'll be fucking Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. None of that shitty malt liquor stuff. Let's go check out this sporty. Look at it. Oh, you got like a new sporty on there. Or a newer model. Yeah, cool. Dude, that is nothing but what I need. I got a headlight left over from my truck and I got a tail light from my trailer. I'm ready to go. Straight utilitarian. Look at the floorboards. Those are great. Look at the floorboards. That, I love it. I made those out of some spare stock I had. Twisted it, chopped it, melded it. I got tired. My first Harley had floorboards and mid controls, and then I bought this real cheap, and uh, it had forward controls with round pegs. And I don't know. I got big feet that don't work well, and nobody makes a mini floorboard for forward controls. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll make one myself." I come check out my chopper. I dig that though. We bought this because uh, I'm gonna have some bikes parked out front. Okay. Uh, I'm putting in some steel ballards and welding them to those ballards from underneath with plates, and so they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna be here year round. Snow, sleet, I don't care. Uh, where is that thing? Oh, there it is. Can we wheel it out? Yeah. Pull that thing out in the light for the camera. I, I wanna say that I bought this. It's like somebody's uh, project. Um, Cause it just popped up on the old Facebook marketplace. And uh, I think I paid 1500 bucks. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I, I think it could be a pretty cool bike. It just needs to be jazzed a little bit, but I like where the guy's style was going. It just had a cool look. And uh, it needs a little, a little cleaning. It's a beater, man. Uh, you know, but it'd be pretty cool rocking if the you get used to how to. What? The guy said it ran. I'm sure. You see, it ran. It that is past it tense. Yeah. It ran. Now, if he says it runs right now, that's still different. Well, kick ass, man. Uh, come by when we're open. I owe yeah. you a cold beer. I know you All got right. places to go, but thank you, man. Mind if I snag a picture with you? Fuck yeah, let's do it. What? I got good news. Feel like Santa. You got good news or good booze? I got both. I Kick feel like ass. Mrs. Claus. We got good merchandise. We're going to have cold beer. Well, I got better news. We're supposed to have garage beer. Uh, it's approved and it's getting on the distributor trucks and things like that, but probably not till next week. Better that yet. does not look like very much. This is just to get us to the day. All right. Well, uh, I hope you've got employees to unload it. I do. I got a few. Right, so we've got our POS system live. We're ready to start selling merch and beers out here. CG ran down to Rapid City this morning. She's got a truck full of beers. We're about to load them into our little trough right here. 
We've got Brittany and Jenna here, our first two employees. They're gonna be full-time here at Gas Monkey Sturges. They are ready to slay merch. So we're excited to see everyone today, start selling a few designs, get the beers going. Yeah, we're excited. So lots of stuff going on today. Uh, we're still about a, a little over a week away from rally time. Uh, we've got a very special guests coming down, came all the way up from Texas, and uh, this is No Name Corny Dogs. Now, the reason that they're No Name Corny Dogs is because they're uh, part of the big corny dog family down there in Texas. If you don't know, then look it up. But uh, this is the best, most famous worldwide corn dog there is on the planet. We make them right here and uh, I hope they're gonna be a big draw. And also, my kitchen is, while I did enlarge it, it's gonna be hard to keep up with everybody that's gonna be here, so I brought in a little backup, if you will. So I think we got some corn dogs and some jalapeno poppers and some funnel cakes and what have you, because it is, after all, a rally, so you gotta have some crazy rally food and uh, what have you. So let's go in and see how our banner's doing. This is probably the biggest thing I'm having made for the bar <laughs> by about 40 feet. What it is, what it is. Richard. Brother. How we doing? Here it is. I like that red. That's, that's a cool red. Yeah, I darkened that up. We'll get this done tonight. I'll sew some corners on it tomorrow. What do you mean get it done tonight? The paint. This is the last part? Yeah. All that's done. 35 foot of paint. Wow. And then I'll dirty it up a little bit. I'll make you a carrying case for it. That's pretty rad. A carrying case? I don't I don't know if I need that. I'm going to go in a couple blocks. You're going to take this thing down. We're going to store it real nice. Oh, make sure yeah, no critters get it. Really take care of it. Yeah. Mouse, get in here and eat this thing up in the winter. Mouses? I hate those Mises to pieces. Those bastards. <laughs> Here it is. That's really, really cool. Once you get a little bit of the, the funkiness on it, yep. what'd you call it? Red dirt? Goo. I don't know. Yeah, we'll antique that thing up, make it look real nice. Now I'm gonna put these leather corners on it. We have the option of doing an inch and a half belt. Kind of oh. like a faux tie down strap. Yeah. That would reach over to the pole. Yeah, I'll leave it up to you. Yeah, that'd look cool, you know? Make it look like the real deal. And Hell yeah. Yeah. I no, I really like the red. That's super rad. Yeah, a little darker. This is freaking crazy. You know, we got the lights going up right now too. And then I put some, uh, some like commercial grade round light bulbs, you know, just following that whole triangle of the sail I put up. So they'll be dangling right above this or right along it. Beautiful. Well, super cool. I'm gonna let you uh, stay in here and uh, I guess get a little stoned on this. It smells good. I'm gonna pound it out. It's gonna be cool, man. I'm excited. It's Make good. Make sure you put a little uh, signature or something down on there. You know it. He told me you wanted 300 for this? Yeah, how'd you know? That's what he said. Yeah, I'll give that to you for three bills. I thought it was free with a 48 foot banner purchase. We'll take that back and hang it up. Yes, sir. All right, sir. We're getting out of here for real this time. Before I spend any more money.
So of all the spools that I got to scatter around for people to stand there and drink some cold beer, one of them was just absolutely too tall. So I'm repurposing it. We cut it down. We're splitting it into uh, quarters and I'm gonna use it for some shelving inside uh, the merch room. So if this works out and my mathematics is correct, uh, it'll look pretty damn badass. So this is my old pit bike and I actually raced it uh, a long time ago and uh, it runs and drives and most people just think it's some weirdness. But what I think is funny, especially about putting it in the bar here, is it's actually started life as a Harley. This was a Harley Hummer and uh, I found it pretty dilapidated and we stuck a Briggs and Stratton on it. That. It even says Gas Monkey Banner right there on there. We ain't messing around, boys. All right. How much does that thing weigh? 40, 45. Yeah. So let's see what end we have here. Let's get her spun around this way. Grab that end. Walk it on over. Stand on that thing. Got it. That is so freaking kick ass. I try it if it gets dirty. It just keeps going. <laughs> that is so badass. Is that going to look killer or what? What do you say, brother? Fucking love it, man. Good job. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Well, nothing to it but to get some stringers. Where's that bucket of uh, carabiners? Six trips up here so far, um, four loads uh, from Gas Monkey, one more load still coming. Um, plus, uh, Sam drove a bunch of stuff up here. Uh, we are now heading into rally week. We're about 95% done with the inside and more or less 95% done with the outside. But now it's placement, final details, electrical, just making sure everything's where we want it. And it's going to give that Gas Monkey experience that, that I really wanted to pull off. So far, I'm super stoked with everything. It has not gone easily, and uh, it, but it is turning into the spot that I want it to be. Uh, what I'm doing with the Indian that I found here in the Black Hills uh, up on the bar is going to be really super badass, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, I'm stoked on the sail that we used up on the, uh, the, the poles there to block the sun, and uh, everything's coming along. Uh, so I'm going to take off and go home for about 48 hours and uh, come right back and I will be here for the next 15 days, uh, all the way through the rally. 
and we're meeting a lot of cool people. The locals seem to be pretty excited that we're here. We're going to be open year round. And uh, next week we'll start getting into some food. Uh, we got to start uh, prepping the kitchen. What I'm really lucky is that Rick, my uh, chef, uh, used to work uh, here and he also has worked up in Deadwood at a couple places. So I'm pretty comfortable that he knows what he's doing. I'm just going to have to get in there and mix it up a little bit, you know, Richard style and, and add my uh, flavor, if you will. So uh, get you some of that. I'm a little tired. I'm not woo or any of that crap right now. I'm more like, woo, I want to go to bed. See you in Dallas and then I'll see you here.